Welcome to my channel, bro. Ray Chalk, if you like this video, bro, like, share, subscribe. Just to the channel, go spiritually connect with your higher self. Got the stuff in the background, you know what I'm saying? Meditation stuff, spirituality. I don't even like to claim spirituality no more. It's just so washed now, bro. I'm just a person who connects with themselves spiritually and walk in their divinity. And I, um, I make sure I walk in righteousness, truth, and, and I stay balanced. I try to stay balanced, you know what I'm saying? But um, I make sure I walk in my divinity, you know, what my ancestors wanted me to do. So um, what I want to talk about in this video is kind of like an update video about what I'm going through and um, what I'm going to be trying to do. So what I'm realizing now is um, you can't save nobody, bro, at all. Like, I'm just realizing, like, all my life I wanted to be the hero. You know what I'm saying? I might give a little story time, but all in, in my life, bro, I've wanted to be the hero. You know what I'm saying? I always wanted to be the one that do good, the one that, you know what I'm saying? I've always wanted to be a person that just did good and influenced others to do good. I never wanted to be a negative influence person. I never wanted to be negative. I never wanted to show off negativity. I never wanted to be none of that. Never in my life. I just always, my dad always told me, you know, do get good grades in school, be cool, you know, stuff like that. But, um... That's what I try to do in my life is be a good person to myself and everybody else. You know, I, and I understand in life, you know what I'm saying, you're not going to be a hero to everybody. Some people will see you as the villain, you know what I'm saying, but it's just about perspective. And some people, they will see you doing good, but the good that you do could be detrimental and bad to them. Like, it, it's all about perspective, bro. So, um, I always want to be the hero in my life, especially... As I've seen how XSX X, X, since I seen was moving, that's what really want to influence me to be a hero. You know what I'm saying? Like, always save people, help people. And I actually was walking down that path because back when I was in high school, when I hit, like, um after, when I hit, like, 11th grade, I started to be more, you know what I'm saying, influential to people, and I started to really be a positive person. You know what I'm saying? It was very hard to do that in my life because I had a lot of different people being negative, and it was messing me up. But then... It, 2018 happened and I had my spiritual awakening. I was able to control my energy much more. So I've been wanting to be the hero. Oh shit. So I've been wanting to be the hero. Like ever since I had an awake ever since I had an awakening, I've been wanting to be a hero. And that's what I was at a point in time. Like I remember I used to be trying to help people a lot. I was trying to I, people invent to me a lot. I just been helping people a lot. And um, over I'm gonna just I'm gonna just like skip over a lot, but I basically have come to the conclusion like you cannot help people at all, and it's all about people people doing stuff themselves. Like, like bro, me being a hero and me trying to help people has only ruined my life. Like, like me be trying to help people, it's gotten me losing my money. Me trying to help people has gotten me betrayed. Me trying to help people made people not value who I am. They didn't. It, it made people not really appreciate what I'm trying to do for them. You know what I'm saying? They be like, the nice guys finished last. Nigga, I've been through that. You know what I'm saying? Now, I've been a hero all my life. But I'm starting to understand, like, I see why villains take the path they take. Because, for one, villains are just misunderstood people. But I'm not going to say, now this is about some villains, but when I look at anime, right, I look at these villains and I be re and I be realize, like, they're so relatable. Because villains, they walk the path they walk because they tried to be the hero one time. They tried to help people, but they realize people don't appreciate them. They they get abandoned by pe certain people that they love. Um, yeah, they get abandoned. They get betrayed. You know, said so they start losing people. This the reason why people turn to villains is because they have to go through pain that they shouldn't have went through in the first place. Cause they it was always they went they was good, but then they turned bad. Well, not necessarily bad, but. They have to walk down a path that a lot of people don't agree with because they was at a point in time they was with everybody else. But then they had to do what they got to do. 
They had to walk a path that was only for them. And they had no choice. You know what I'm saying? What was it? What is it like? Continue to be a hero. Continue to be nice to people and keep getting abandoned, keep being depressed, keep being fucked up. They don't want to go through that. So they go through the negative path. And they usually join groups because these groups, these negative groups, like in animes, these negative groups, they offer this person a lifestyle that couldn't be offered to them. And it is they're offering and these evil people, they offer the villain something that heroes don't want to offer them or the good side don't want to offer them or they they or the these villains are going to offer them fulfillment that they didn't feel when it was wrong the heroes and the good people they just felt abandonment so what i'm trying to say is like this is like from anime it's like what i'm trying to say is like villains never have they 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 it's the last it's like they don't have a choice and they have to make a certain decision so they could save themselves and a lot of people think it's a bad decision on the hero side but in reality it's all about perspective it's about the path they have to take so basically what I'm trying to say is not all villains are bad, but they it's just a perspective thing. And they had to they had no choice. They had to take what they had to they had to do what they had to do. You feel me? And it's like when you are a hero, a lot of people don't appreciate you, they abandon you, they use you. They use you you for energy, also they use you for what you got. But when you a villain, you selfish, you could keep everything. You don't have to worry about people to ask for everything because you're being selfish, it's all to you. You know what I'm saying? You're only caring about yourself. You're walking down a path with just yourself. You know what I'm saying? Now I say this. I said to say this. It's like I'm done being the hero. I'm done. Like I'm done trying to help niggas. I'm done trying to help people. I'm done trying to help people emotionally. I'm done trying to help people financially. I'm so done with everything, bro. And um, why do I feel like this? I've I've come. I can show you my cash up history. I've been always helping people. I can show you text history. I've been always emotionally supporting people i've been doing all of this and where did it leave me nowhere at all bro i've been abandoned yes despite me being a good guy i've been abandoned me being a hero i've been abandoned despite me giving these people money they still don't pay me back they finessed me whatever some people do pay me back yes but the majority don't so what do what did i feel how do I feel from always helping people? Bad. I feel used, finessed, abandoned. So, now what kind of makes me make this video is you is kind of because I've been I was in a recent situation where um I had I basically lost two friends that I've been really close with. One of them I knew for four years. The other one I just got to know, but we had built a deep connection. So. This is not a diss video to them at all. I no, I don't feel like doing any of that. But what happened was I met. Um, so it, it's me. So I did, I left my job at that point of time, and it was me. So my brother, and, and he he got a friend. So it's my brother and his friend. Um, his friend is, is was trying to help me get a job at his job, and he did and he did do that, and I do appreciate that. He did look out for me a lot of times. Yes, that's true. So. Basically, he, I'm going to call him, um, I'm going to call this dude at, um, G. So, basically, G helps me get a job. That's true. He takes me to the job. Okay. Takes me back and forth to the job. Okay. But, meanwhile, while this stuff is happening, um, me, my brother, and G, we're going, we're going to nature together. We're doing spiritual things together. Like, we just was growing spiritually, gaining knowledge, wisdom. We was doing so much spiritual work, you know what I'm saying? And um Um basically what 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 we focused on was a peace of mind, you know what I'm saying? But during this whole summer of just me always being around them, my brother and, and um G, you know what I'm saying? G has an issue he's been going through with um his girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? And I have to constantly hear him venting. And stuff like that of him of these situations that's going on with with his girlfriend stuff like that. I, I got to keep hearing it. And if you being vented, if somebody's venting to you, what do, what do they expect you to do? Give your imp, give the input. So I give my input. My brother be giving the input, and this hap this constantly happens the whole summer. He even breaks up with her, and this is his ex now. So 
So basically, bro, I got to I got to keep hearing him vent. And there's nothing wrong with venting. Like I was a hero at that time. There's nothing wrong with venting. I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? If you a close dude, you help me. I, I help you. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, so the whole summer, it's just constant vents. It's drama about him and his girlfriend or his ex. They broke up eventually. But it's just so much stuff going on. Her doing this to him and all this stuff. So, um, so, um, we constantly tell him, do this, do this. We give him advice. He's telling us the information. So what are we supposed to do? Give him advice. What are we going to do? Just say, okay, move on. No, you know what I'm saying? As real friends, we're going to give you advice to help the situation and help you because we, we care about his, we, this is about G G been going through so much stuff and he not have, he's not growing mentally. He could be growing mentally, but she's bringing him down. We've been helping him spiritually. You know what I'm saying? We've been going nature and all that stuff, but this female is apparently bringing him down. And this is what he's telling us. And this is what we can see, literally. So it's not like, oh, why, how do you know this business? We, I, they, it, it was being told to me. You know what I'm saying? So with well, all this going on, the whole summer passed, okay? It's constant vents. We tell him this, this, that. We tell him, hey, bro, this is happening. This is what you should do as a man. He don't do it. Basically, this dude does not take our advice. So, um, so fast forward, a new person comes in, into the picture. This was my friend for four years. Um, let's just call him W. Okay. So W comes into the picture. So we all start hanging out. It's me, my brother, W and G. W is a new person. I knew it's a new person. I knew for four years. G is the person that I just met. We all grown spiritually. He got these problems with his female. And we got to keep helping him. So W gets into the picture. So basically, um, W, he hears everything that's going on because it's like you, it's inevitable. You, If you come around him, you're going to hear everything that happens. It's, it's going to happen, bro. Like if you go around this person, you get in tune with him. You're going to ha hear what happens with his people. You're going it's going to happen. He's going to vent. He's going to let you know his problems It's it's going to happen. So W hears these issues. So he get real. W gets real cool with G and my brother. Me and him been tight since like 2018, bro. I'll get into that later. But we've been cool for so long. But he just not getting in tune with G and and my brother. So as he hears this stuff about, as we start linking up, we start doing this stuff together. Like we all four, we hoop together. We start hooping together. We start like, we hit the gym together. Nigga, we was going, we was getting in tune with each other, and and W start seeing G as his brother, and they start calling each other brother. We was all calling each other brother on some real shit, bro, on some real shit. And um, so W, he he hears all this stuff that's happening to G with his situation with his girl and or his ex now because they broke up, but they still live together. His ex, like he's he hears all this stuff, right? So he started wanting to like, you know what I'm saying, fight because he wants to like, like he he's on that type of time where hey, bro, stop messing with my homie. I don't care if this if this your ex or not, stop messing with my homie. I'm gonna beat your you know what I'm saying? That's what he on. He on like on he on ten with all of this. We've been me and my brother been helping him, but this nigga's on ten. So so um what happened was apparently this um G's ex um, like apparently she, they be her, his, his ex and her girlfriend, they be ganging up on this dude, like while they at the apartment. So, so G's ex and the ex's girlfriend be double teaming him at the apartment and, um, gaslighting him, whatever. But this is what they told me, you know what I'm saying? This is what's being told to me. And this is what everybody knows. So they've been gang, and this is what dude told us. So they be ganging up on them apparently. So with them doing that shit, um, W takes this the wrong way, and he wants to like get up on everybody. Like, hey, bro, stop messing with my homie. You know what I'm saying? Like he was getting really violent. So, so I basically had to tell everybody to calm down. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk this out. And that's what everybody did. I was the hero of that situation. I told everybody, calm down. Let's. 
do this peacefully and let's talk. So me and my brother G and W talked in the car and we was just letting um G know like, bro, as a man, you don't have to deal with this because he's dealing with so much stuff at his place. So, and this was being told to me. So he's dealing with all this stuff. So um, we keep helping him, stuff like that. So, okay. So this is where everything get bad. So um, W, basically, we was all in the group chat. W, you know, my friend I knew for four years who just got in tune with everybody. He was on 10 about everything. He, he been, he, you know what I'm saying? He a real nigga. So W is the one who, um, we was in the group chat. So he just started coming out of nowhere talking about like, hey, G, bro, kick her out your apartment. She um, make you lose your job. She make you lose. She made you lose two jobs. She's ruining your life. She's not bringing nothing to the table. This is what he's saying in the group chat. Like he basically violent. He like get this overweight. You know, it's like he was like violent, bro. So he was um basically this female. Uh, what I hear, what's being told to me, made him lose his jobs and stuff like that. So is so this dude is like W is telling G. Bro, kick her out. Stop dealing with this bullshit. Kick her, the f kick her out. Kick this. She don't bring nothing to the table. Stuff like that. Like he was going hard, bro. He was telling this dude. He was telling like, bro, you stupid. Kick her out. Why do you keep letting her ruin your life? It's basically like that. So he was trying to. It was coming out of the love of his heart. He he was telling like, I don't want to see my homie messed up because it was messing him up mentally. Like, bro, he even bro G even said like he wanted to do suicide because of the stuff this girl is putting him through and she made him lose jobs so it's like bro w was letting him know as a grown man like bro kick her out what is wrong with you basically like because if a girl's ruining on your life kick her out so he was telling like you're stupid he was like he was like getting on this dude's head bro i'm telling you like like really like violating her and like telling him like bro stop being retarded kick her out he was saying i don't he was basically saying like, i don't want to see my nigga hurt but I was just agreeing with it. Like, I was saying, like, yeah, bro, you right, you right, you know what I'm saying? I agree, you should do this and this, this. Be but um, all this came from this nigga telling us everything. But with him, um, with the, with um W saying all this stuff, bro, it just, um, it just ignited everything the wrong way. G basically screenshots the group chat and, like, just sends it to his ex and that just started drama bro like that's where the betrayal happened like bro well how do you why did you screenshot everything we was trying to tell you and then show the person that's been ruining your life that you keep telling us about you keep telling us about her that she's doing this to you made you lose this this that 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 you keep telling us how the fuck you gonna snitch on us to her when when the stuff you're telling us she's your enemy you gonna snitch on us who've been trying to help you. So basically, bro, did what he did was he snitched. He basically screenshotted the stuff in the group chat and then just snitched, bro, and like just snitched, bro, like and just showed his ex all this stuff that we were saying, despite what she did to this dude, ruining his mental health. That he told us, ruined his mental health, did all this and that, made him lose a job, be anti antagonizing him, making him paranoid. If she doing all this to you and we're trying to help you. How are you going to snitch on this to her? Like, she going to make you any better, make your mental health any better. Well, we've been actually helping your mental health, but that's what happened. So he basically snitched, bro, or whatever. So he, he basically told her what was happening. And um, that was like a weird thing to do. That was very weird. So I had to cut him off for that. And even though he was real cool or whatever, and I, I really do appreciate stuff he did. That was a violation. You don't do that type of stuff to your homies. Like, especially taking us, showing somebody that you, you're telling us is ruining your life. You just don't do that. That that makes no sense. So, um, he did that move. So I was kind of like irritated. I was mad. I was thinking like, bro, I want to fight him, stuff like that. Then, um, W, who got on his head, W. So, okay, so he out the picture now. G's out the picture completely. He's done. So, W basically says he was mad. And he said, fuck me. He said, fuck me. I was on his side. The whole situation, I even told him, like, if you need me, better let me know. Because it was drama. So, I was like, hey, bro, if you need me, let me know. So, and I knew this dude for four years, bro. And 
bro, this nigga said, fuck me for no reason. So I cut him off too. And he blocked me. <laughs> and I didn't even do nothing. He just said, fuck you, bro. And he said, fuck y'all. And he said, fuck me. He blocked me for no reason, bro. The nigga blocked me. And I was like, bro. And it's like, I'm not. And it's like, it's cool, bro. So I was, so I'm done with him. He unblocked me. And they both trying to be cool with me again, but I'm not doing that. I'm done. I had enough. Like, I'm not about to put myself in that situation again. I had to deal with drama. And I'm not a drama person. You know what I'm saying? So that dude done. They both cut off. They trying to be cool with me again, but I'm not going for it. So, um, so basically, bro, like, You know what I'm saying? Dude basically kind of snitched. So I was like, nah, I'm not dealing with him no more. Other dude said, fuck me for no reason. And mind you, I knew W for like four years. And he's been, and I've been constantly having to be a hero to him. He's now for, now for G, I've been a hero to him all the time. Hearing him event, keep having to help him, tell him, do this, do this. Keep trying to help him. Didn't work at all. I still got betrayed. Nigga snitched on me. So, W, I knew this dude for four years, bro. Four fucking years. I knew him for four years. And like, bro, I knew him for four years. And out of like the whole three years, he's been depressed because he wanted a girlfriend, basically. So I've been having to constantly help this dude so much, bro. Think about constantly like damn near every day you got to help somebody emotionally and spiritually for like two years two years straight of just constant venting helping bro i could i used to couldn't wake up bro i'll wake right up and he texted me on some i need help please help me stuff like that and i had to help him and bro i've been helping this dude for like four years bro being a hero to him being like the only nigga that can list that, that listens to him his problems and I could relate to him. I was the only nigga, bro. And then this dude actually said, fuck me for like no reason, bro. And mind you, he's not depressed no more. He found a girlfriend. He happy as hell. Back then, he didn't have one. I've been constantly helping him all the time. Making myself depressed, helping him. And he would never was he never would have the nerve to say fuck me at all. I've been helping him all that. Now he got a girlfriend, and out of a little situation, he said, fuck me. So it's like, that's what I get for being a hero. I've been a hero to him for four years. Like, actually, like, actually, like, honestly, like, two to three years. Two, two, and two to three years, yeah. But that's even the one year span is a long time, bro. I've been helping him for so long. And what happened in the end? He said, fuck me. For no reason. This other dude I've been helping for for like a whole summer. I've been trying to help him. He been venting. I've been helping him, you know what I'm saying? Giving him good advice. Niggas, the nigga snitched for no reason. And I wasn't even the one violating the situation. I was just agreeing to what was being. <sighs> this is what I get for trying to help people. When nowhere. I went nowhere. I didn't do anything but get angry, depressed. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've been dealing with, bro. That's what I've been dealing with. Like, all my life, I've been just helping people all the time. And when back in 2020, I cut everybody off and was focused on me. I went rogue. Like, I was like, I cut everybody off and I was on social media. And I was just growing spiritually. I wasn't at a job or nothing. And that's when I was at my happiest, when I was focused on myself. So I've realized, like, bro, just focusing on myself and not giving a fuck about everybody else makes life way happier. Like, just being like, and I'm just like, bro, it's like when I just be selfish and I just care about myself, that's where everything just becomes better. And I, it's like, wow, why did these niggas have to betray? Bro, now, bro, bro, I'm not about to deal with nobody, bro. I'm done, bro. I don't want to talk to nobody no more. Why? What's the point? Everybody going to betray me. You know, females don't even be wanting to talk to me. That's how flash money. Nigga, I show I show some of my story about money. Now everybody wants to now females that don't even hit me up wants to speak to me. That's crazy to me. Like that shit be so fried, bro. That shit be fried, bro. That's why I don't even want to be on social media, bro. 
I just deactivated my account. I be my job be so boring. I be going back on there to bro. I gotta try to stay off that app. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's just where I've been at, bro. I just been dealing with my own internal battles, bro. Like it's just been so bad, bro. I've been paranoid of people. I just don't want to talk to nobody no more. I'm about to go to the movies by myself. And Halloween, Michael Myers drop, bro. I'm watching that shit by myself, bro. I don't want to talk to nobody more no more. I don't want to deal with nobody. I don't want to do anything with people no more, bro. And that and it's sad that I gotta feel like that. But hey, it just is what it is, bro. I'm about to just be on my own little path. I'm about to just deal with myself. I'm about to just mentally heal myself, spiritually heal myself. And I like I don't want no more friends, bro. I don't, bro. I really don't. Like I I don't. But I don't, bro. Cause I'm tired of dealing with this, bro. Of betrayal. I had to deal with this back in 2017 when everybody was betraying me back then when I was trying to get clout. I had to deal with everybody betraying me back then. Everybody being fake. Even there's been more situations. Even after my stage of wanting clout and spiritual awakening, I had to deal with losing a lot more people. Constant betrayal. Constant backstabbing. Like, I don't want to deal with that no more. I don't want to keep being at this point of myself of being betrayed and feeling dumb. Like, I, nobody wants to deal with that shit no more, bro. And at this point, all I want to do is, only person I'll probably interact with in my area that I would want to, it would be a female that is on my frequency, but you can't even find that. But that will probably be the only time I'll actually get in tune with somebody would be a female. But when as, as far as these dudes and these... I'm not dealing with these people no more, bro. I don't have time for it no more. I don't have time to get backdoored. I already got backdoored before I got betrayed, bro. I done deal, dealt with the worst, bro. I I'm tell you, bro. And I don't have to deal with that. That's the thing. So as I move forward, I'm going to start making videos again. I got to start getting to myself again. Uh, I just got some tea. Hold up. I just got some tea. I just got some tea. It's like um, elderberry and echinacea organic tea. I just had some. It was pretty good. I might have mixed some more, but I got to start. Um, I'm going to start detoxing, trying to better myself again. You know what I'm saying? Just get back to now. I've always been in. And I'm, I'm not. It's not like I'm eating meat or nothing. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not going crazy like that. No. I mean, I, I do be in snacks sometimes, but I got to cut it down. I just got some fruits and, uh, earlier. I just did some Insta. I just got some Instacart stuff. But, yeah, I got to get, I, I just got to just, I got to fall back from everything. Honestly, bro. People, snakes, I can't, I'm done with it. I'm not dealing with people no more. Only people that I would actually talk to would be people from the internet. That's spiritual, conscious, African power, black power. That's the only type of people I'd probably talk to, to be honest with you. It would be them type of people. But, as far as far as people in my area, I'm not talking to nobody, bro. I don't, I don't, I'm done. I'm about to go to the movies by myself, and I'm about to live life and be cool. But excuse me. that was like a little story time of why I don't really want to be a hero no more. It only all it did was bring me pain, and, um, betrayal, and backstab. Now, as a villain, what I would say is I'm about to just be on my own little thing. I'm about to just work with myself, be selfish. I don't care about people's problems. I'm not dealing with none of that. It's like I'm not about to be a hero. I would, I would, I guess you would say neutral, but I'm just about to take on a path of just, I guess, just kind of like being selfish. But, you know, I'm not trying to be unrighteous or nothing, but I just don't, I just learn what happens when you deal with people. It's not good at